Hello everyone and welcome to Madonna Kitchen. My name is Eric, we have Jessica and Chris. And today we are gonna be cooking a beef vegetable stir fry. Beef, it's what's for dinner. We started off by preparing ourselves some brown jasmine rice. This is a whole grain rice. It's a lot more nutritious than your traditional white rice. It has a lot more flavor. That has already been started in the rice cooker. I like to start with the marinade first. Starting with the marinade first gives the marinade a little bit more time for all the ingredients and flavors to fuse together. So we're gonna start off with one third cup of a beef broth. This, is a, um, this can be a low sodium option. We then add three tablespoons of soy sauce. Now soy sauce can also be a low sodium option and that's because one tablespoon of regular soy sauce has nearly half of the daily recommended amount for sodium in the American diet. So we're gonna use a, a low sodium soy sauce. Next we have garlic. We're gonna use fresh garlic today. Um, to cut the garlic, you use the flat side of a French or chef's knife, press down on it. You'll hear a slight little crunch. At that point, the peel will just come right off of the garlic. You then can use the French knife to, to mince that. We're gonna use about one to two cloves of garlic in the, in the marinade. You could also use a dry garlic or a canned garlic. Um, garlic has a vast amount of health benefits. It does help to lower cholesterol, which will reduce your risk of heart disease. Go ahead, Jess, and throw that in the marinade as Chris is chopping the rest. We then also have next uh, fresh garlic, or excuse me, fresh ginger. This can also be used dry. And the final ingredient to the marinade is a quarter teaspoon of black ground pepper. Excellent, once we have all the ingredients in the marinade, Jess is gonna whisk that up for us. And we are gonna start with the beef. So today we are using a top round beef. Um, beef is loaded with a lot of different micronutrients. It's a great source of protein. Um, lean beef has less than 10% fat. With the beef, we are first gonna trim off any fat that's around the outsides of the cut. This will reduce the saturated fat content of the beef. I'm also gonna cut the beef once down the middle horizontally and that will allow for smaller slivers of beef. And then when I cut the beef, I'm gonna cut the beef at a 45 degree angle against the grain in about quarter inch slices. That will allow for the most tender cut of meat. It will also account for even cooking and speedy cooking. You want to tuck your fingers in as you're cutting so that you don't lose any of them. Talk to monk yourselves. You know, we are using beef today, but don't forget that we could use portobello mushrooms, we could use shrimp, we could use tofu, all different options. Okay, I'm done with that. The beef then goes into the marinade. I would typically put this in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator for 20 minutes, 60 minutes, overnight, whatever you have time for. But 
of course you can use it as just a, a, a quick marinade that is used right away and not marinating for any length of time. But luckily for us, out of our magic fridge, we have a side of beef that has already been marinated for 24 hours. You want to start off with a very hot skillet or wok. We got our wok. We're ready to wok and roll. One to two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We're using a canola oil today. You could use olive oil. These oils are high in vitamin E. Monounsaturated fats. We're gonna start with an arraignment of vegetables. We have red peppers, white onions, and broccoli. These are firmer vegetables. They take a little bit longer to cook than our sugar snap peas, so those are left on the side for the last one to two minutes of cooking. We are going to add our vegetables to the wok. A little splash of water to help tenderize them a little faster. You can use all sorts of vegetables. It doesn't just have to be these, whatever you have in your garden or at the farmer's market. You could use a variety of peppers, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper. That way it'll give the dish some color, make it look more appealing, more appetizing. This will just take a moment because some of those pieces of broccoli are fairly big. You could have blanched the broccoli for a few minutes prior to reduce cooking time but it'll cook in no time. Chris, what can you tell the audience about these vegetables today? I mean, these are three of my favorites. These are my go-tos right here. Are they? Yeah. Okay. Broccoli, I mean, great flavor profile. It's gonna have that nice crunch. We're gonna cook them a little bit al dente. We're gonna pop them in right at the end. Oh, I don't know if there's one that I dislike. What about asparagus? Do you like asparagus? I do. You know what would be great here? Water chestnuts. That would set it off. Nice you know, crunch, nice crunch. Nice low crunch, yeah, right at the end. A little green onion for garnish. So we just need another minute or so. Once the vegetables are nice and tender, we're going to add the snow peas for about one to two minutes so that they can become tender as well. We'll then remove all the vegetables from the heat so we can sear our beef. Okay, and I'm gonna throw the sugar snap peas in. All of my vegetables were pre-rinsed and cut and drained. Really walking and rolling there, Eric. Flip. Do something for the crowd. Get them going. A little fire show? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Please stay tuned for a message from our sponsors. <laughs> this will be a nice time for a commercial. 
Yeah, you know. Okay. Vegetables are al dente. Okay, so we're gonna keep this wok nice and hot. Add a little bit more oil so that our beef doesn't stick to the pan. The beef, we are going to add, saving the remaining liquid that it's been marinating in, because we're gonna use that at the end as a sauce to thicken. I can taste it already. All the flavor from those vegetables are still in there. So when we cook it all together, it's all going to blend together. That's right. Smell that? Yeah. That's crushed garlic and ginger. It makes all the Yeah, we want the dark, rich red color to turn light brown. That way we know the meat is cooked throughout. We did sliver the beef at only a quarter inch, so it won't take very long before it is done. A good portion size, would you say? Three ounces? Good serving size of meat, three ounces, that's about the typical palm, size of your palm. Like or a, a deck of cards. Or a deck of cards, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you know your that's tips, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wish you all could smell this. Okay, one more minute. Can. Um, the tip that I use, the trick that I like to, like to use is anything that ends in the word moin is lean. Uh, top sirloin would work well. Oh man, could you imagine if we use tenderloin? Maybe that would be a little bit more expensive, right. but it would work. Okay, wonderful. It's really it is. Now we're going to add our veggies back in. Toss that around in there. Can you believe all those rich, beautiful colors in there? I can't believe it. Uh, taste the rainbow. You know, that's why they say to, um, you know, incorporate eating the rainbow on a daily basis. That helps to make sure that you get all of the vitamins and minerals that you need. As that is cooking, we're going to add the remaining marinade to the pan. Now remember that this marinade was in contact with raw beef, so the marinade does have to come to a boil to cook off anything. Yeah, we don't want that back here. No, no, no. Linda Mockney taught me well. All of our liquid is boiling, so let's sprinkle now in one to two tablespoons of cornstarch or a cornstarch slurry. Oh yeah, the slurry. The slurry, yeah. yeah that'll help to thicken our uh, our natural juices we've made here. You gotta bind everything together real nice. It will help the marinade adhere or stick to the meat and vegetables. Well, flour has a, a little bit more of a 
blander aftertaste than I would then. Yeah, and you gotta cook it out a little bit longer. We don't wanna overcook our meat, right? No. Wonderful. Well, well, folks, this is done. We're gonna take a nice generous portion of our brown jasmine rice. We can turn the heat off on our stir fry because we don't want our vegetables to become too soggy. Using a stirring spoon, a serving spoon, excuse me, one that does not have slots in it. We want to get that juice. Yeah, that's the good stuff. go. Bon appetit. Beef, it's what's for dinner. It's the money shot. Thank you. Come on, guys. <laughs>